the Amen Pastor. Good morning, church. Amen. And happy Sunday. Amen. Um, can we open our Bibles to the book of Matthew, chapter 14? Amen. Amen. We're going to be reading about the miracles, amen, of Jesus. Amen. The Boring Pastor. Good morning, church. Can we open our Bibles to the book of Numbers? Numbers, chapter 30. Stages in Israel's journey. <clears throat> Here are the stages in the journey of the Israelites. When they came out of Egypt, this is their journey. By stages. The Israelites set out from Ramses on the 15th now, day. Here we can take a look at each and every single one of the stages the of their journey. One church over, dang, he's boring. See here that Aaron is a cause is followed by Aaron. Let's go to a different church. He's making me sleep. Of the people they are worshiping. And um, let's move on to chapter 34, the boundaries of Canaan. The slow pastor. Good morning, church. Good morning, Good morning, Good morning. pastor. We're going to start off this sermon. What is he doing? In the book of Where's First Solomon. Why is he reading so slow? The temple. 80th year. Oh my goodness. After the Israelites came out of Egypt, God is a God. Come on, Gabriel, we're leaving. Of precision. The Shaker. Oh, I have a word for you guys today. <laughs> I am feeling the spirit today. Oh, my goodness. Oh, God is telling me something today. <laughs> I am feeling something. <laughs> the pastor that takes too long to end service. And that is the 64th reason God is a God of forgiveness. Now, before we go, I just, I just had a word from God. So just give me five more minutes and I'm done. Five more minutes, okay. Let's go back to point number three. Showing how God was able to forgive the people of Israel. So now do you guys understand why we need to learn to forgive the way God forgives us? Let me say one more point and I'm done. Now now going back to point four, go, going back to point four, we see that God, and that was the whole Bible in chronological order. Now we can see in depth the details and precision God has taken to bring Jesus to save us. We'll be continuing this message next Sunday, so make sure you bring your friends, invite people. This message will be an amazing, spectacular, crazy sermon that you don't want to miss oh, out I don't know about so, you. So, hey, hey, don't leave yet, don't leave yet. I still have to pray us out and talk about all the events we'll have in the next four years. All right. The pastor that makes no sense. Now, as I was saying, today is Sunday. And Sunday has six letters. So how can somebody say amen today? Amen. Six letters are in Sunday. Okay. Now, now, now. If we add one. Oh, oh my goodness. If we add one to six, oh, we get seven. So what does that mean, We Pastor? get seven. And do you know what day God rested? Uh -huh, on the, on seventh, the seventh day. day. Can I get an amen? Amen, I guess. Now, now, seven is just an ordinary number. What does this mean? And if God can rest on the seventh day, then I proclaim today oh, 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 to be your day of rest. Oh, can I get an amen? The repeat after me, Pastor. You guys, repeat after me. Say, say neighbor. 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 Today is the day the Lord has made. Today is the day the Lord has made, Pastor. And I will rejoice and be glad in Him. I will rejoice and be glad in Him. Say neighbor. 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 
You're looking good today. You're looking good today. Say neighbor, today will be my day of rest. It's my day of rest. Say neighbor. Neighbor. I love you. I love you. I love this person. Say neighbor. What's the person trying to do? I love you. Y'all repeat this too. Repeat after me. Today. Today. God has blessed me. God has blessed me. And I am so blessed. I am so blessed. That I will give $100 today. Oh, Who told hey, you that? No. Say neighbor. Why is he still going? You will too. No, I won't. Can somebody say neighbor? Come on to me. Let's will go Will you home. be coming to Bible study next week? I was. Say neighbor. I will. I have work and five kids. And I will be coming oh, every why is single day. I will not be oh, doing that. Let's go. I'm Stop. leaving this I'm church. Out. I'm out. Church. Goodbye. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. The pastor that makes a sermon out of anything. Good morning, everybody. I actually didn't come prepared today with a sermon because I knew God would provide something at the altar. For example, this may look like a brush. It may look like a hairbrush, but rest assured, it's a microphone. And you see, we may present ourselves like something that we're not. You better preach today, Pastor. But if God has destined for you to be what he wants you to be, that is what you're going to be. That's uh -huh. right. That's you can't right. fool anybody. Exactly, Pastor. Jonah. Right, mm -hmm. right. He wanted He wanted to run away. Keep it coming, he Pastor. He wanted to run away. But God said, this is your destiny. This is what you need to do. So that's what he did. Th th this microphone, it might want to brush somebody's hair. But it can't do that. If it's going to, it's going to maximize the decibels of my voice. It's a microphone. How many of you guys are pretending to be hairbrushes, but you guys are really microphones? How many? Ooh, How many? Yes. Can I get an yes? Amen. Yes. Amen. The pastor that wastes time or stalls. Good morning, church. Oh, today's a beautiful day. Can, can somebody just praise God, thank Him for this beautiful day? <laughs> oh, somebody smelling nice today. I smell it. <laughs> who smells nice? Probably me, Pastor. Who, who put on perfume, cologne today? Um, it hasn't rained this week. Can it get on with the sermon? So I thank God for that. I guess I should come into what we're preaching about today. But first, I gotta compliment Miss Sasha for her shoes. <laughs> thank you, Pastor. Uh, you got some nice shoes today. Thank you. Better thank God for that. Y'all saw the game last week. We're in church, sir. It was a good game. It was a good game. Um. So, anyways, Matthew. Finally. Did I tell y'all about Matthew oh yesterday? Oh my goodness. He tried something, but it's good. It's good. But Matthew chapter four. Before I get into all of that, can we just pray for me? The pastor that can't hear. <laughs> I'm feeling the spirit today. Can I get an amen? Uh-oh. I can't hear y'all. Can I get an amen? Amen. Oh, y'all tired today. I say, can I get a holistic, spiritual, holistic, loud and shouting amen today? Amen. I can't hear y'all or something. Like, damn. Y'all tired? I can't hear. What y'all say? Y'all did not say amen, right? What was that? Y'all man, what? Amen. I can't hear y'all. I can't hear. I can't hear y'all. You okay, pastor? I can't, I can't hear y'all. The fake pastor or the false prophet. How y'all doing today, church? Um, I got me some notes right here for the sermon today. Yeah. You know, I've been preaching for 14 years now, so Woo! I don't really need notes, but, you know, I gotta showcase my pastoral skills today. Okay, so, can we open our Bibles to 4th Kings chapter 86? Excuse me? 4th Kings chapter 86, that's what I wrote down here. Oh. 4th Kings chapter 86, thank you. Who's gonna tell him? Okay, I already memorized the verse. Oh, really? I memorized okay. it. And it said, let there be light. Oh, no, Pastor. And that, you know what? Else. You, you're not making there sense, There was light. Pastor. 
So, no, that's, there was that's not right. And God that's, said it was good. That, that's wrong. And you know, you're, you're, you're saying things that are false. Jesus is it, the light. That's incorrect, sir. No, Pastor, he actually is, is light. He is light Pastor, itself. Stop, he's stop, the sun. Pastor, Pastor no. He, he's Pastor. the center of our that's solar system. That's not correct. Don't listen to him. He's not. He lights up the world truth. every day. That's a lie, Pastor. Jesus is the that's Son. That's why. The that's why it no, says no, no, that no, 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 no. God no, gave no, no, no. us His that's Son. That's not it. That's not because it. Because no, God is the solar no, system. Sir. No, sir. No, no, mm-hmm. Pastor. And Jesus Step is the Son. of the altar. And that's why God altar. gave us His Son. And, and without it's, it's, it's His wrong, light shining on us, we wouldn't be able to live. You're spreading lies. Pastor, stop. No, Because we're Pastor. immortal. No, no, no. no. These, this you see, isn't because correct. of his son, no, we I, are I can't immortal. This. We're going to live on this earth Read forever. The Bible. the Bible doesn't say because of this. His son. This is not what the Bible says. And that's why Jesus stop, is the literal stop, son stop. of God. The stop. Solar system. Goodbye. Thank you. The singer. Yes, God said, let there be light. God is good all the time. If you want it, go claim it. If you hate it, you shame it. Spin around, spin around. Stomp the devil to the ground. Young and old, grab your kids. You are lonely, you are here. Somebody pray. Can somebody pray? Oh, God is good every day. The stutterer. And you, and you know, you, you, you know that forgiveness is is one of God's main priorities. You see, you see. And, you can slow down, Pastor. If we, if we want to be God's main, oh, 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 main, slow main down, Pastor. Priority. Then we gotta learn. Slow, go how, slow, how, you can't how, speak. How to forgive. Can somebody hear me today? Barely. The sweater. Oh, I'm getting excited Do you today. need a fan, Pastor? Is somebody excited? Oh, I'm feeling the spirit today. You feeling the heat, sir? You know when I sweat, it's a good thing. When I sweat, I mean So you didn't mean it before? Uh, you know, sweat means I'm hydrated. Oh, sweat means I'm hydrated. Not when you and sweat too much. Wants to be hydrated? In the word of the Lord. Oh, I'm preaching today. I'm preaching today. The overly aggressive pastor. <sighs> I'm angry today. I'm angry today. Why, pastor? Because the devil. What? The devil. The devil is a fire. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. You okay there? And if you, if you are a liar, then you're the d- The greedy or money-hungry pastor. Hello, church. It's nice to be back. Y'all know I traveled for a little bit. And y'all know traveling is expensive. <laughs> so, yeah, that means the church is a little short on money this week. Again? No, we're not, pastor. Hey, here we are. Um... So that means y'all guys, y'all guys gonna have to give extra today. I don't got extra to bless this church. I'm leaving and this church and what it's been doing. Y'all haven't done nothing then though. I recommend that you give a small, small seed of five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars. I'm out. Five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars does so much, but so little. Come on, George. We're leaving. Just level one. Let me guess. Level two is a thousand dollars. Level two is at least one thousand dollars. Come on, Timothy, we're going to one thousand dollars for a level two seed. And people who give level two seeds, oh, God will bless them today. God will bless them. Okay, people who give level one seeds, y'all broke and y'all poor. But I want to see lots of people giving that level two seed. Level two seed. And and, and if you want me. To maybe like You're resurrect somebody. Get off Five thousand dollars minimum. Don't listen Five thousand dollars. He's lying. He but maybe you're money. curious to see he how do Jesus it. looks he like, or you've never met him before. It. I've met him. That's We're close friends. For That's going to be at least a hundred thousand dollars to meet Jesus. Don't give him. And I can money. guarantee he that you will meet Jesus. Do it. He doesn't yes, know Jesus Yes, one hundred thousand dollars. Don't believe him. Thank you. 
the pastor with the fake vocabulary. You, you see the juxtaposition of the animalistic and the synthetic what are you phenomenon saying? That does not is what make creates any sense. a spiritualistic beingness within the conviviality regular words of the of the of the trueness of the world this does not and make you sound smarter is what's really supercalifragilisticexpialidocious can i get an amen no you can't we can't can understand I get an you amen, today? amen. the beingness of my form is trying to dissipate into the worlds of the realm what? of flesh what that doesn't make sense what <sighs> what Thank did you, you just say the pastor that hears everything from god God is telling me somebody in here is in need of a blessing. We're all looking for a blessing. God is telling me somebody in here is looking for a miracle. And we're all looking for a miracle. What else, God? God told me that Miss Beatrice actually gave $10 for offering today. When she knew she could have gave 100 at least. You don't know what's going on with my money. And don't get me started with, with you, Dorothy. What about me, Pastor? Dang. You were saying that you were needing money, but I there did. you are in Florida traveling. That's what God told me anyways. I wasn't stalking you. That's what God's telling me. Okay. I'm trying to mind my own business, but God's just telling me what I need to hear. You know? So, y'all keep it together. Okay? I know what God is telling me. I ain't a gossip. The YouTuber that pretends to be pastors for a video. God is just telling me somebody in here wants to subscribe i do it's they want to like it's this me. video I want to. they want to share it to other people and they want to comment some stuff down below they also want to watch the other videos of this channel that's what god's telling me anyways i'm gonna see y'all later i know I'm such a great pastor you can just call me pastor latte from now on have a blessed day